word, I mean, with your spirit, you ain't even let that come out your mouth. He may have said that, but you ain't gonna even receive it. You're gonna say, by his stripes, I'm here. I'm using, I use men as an example. Because I'm big and because of my culture, my race, you know, our race is known for high blood pressure. Sugar. Some people call it a diabetes when they about. When I went to the doctor, I had to go to the doctor. And the only reason I went because I, they made me go. I wouldn't have went, but I had to go. And he checked me out. He said, I was healthy when he checked me out, but he said, you know what? Because of your size and because of, you know, your culture and stuff, a couple of years you're going to have diabetes and you're going you're gonna to have high blood pressure and you're going to have to take pills. I looked at this nut. And what he was. Mm -hmm. I looked at this I said, man, I don't see that. I said, I'm a <laughs> That was... Five years ago, maybe more than that, I haven't, I haven't taken a pill. I haven't, I don't have high blood pressure. I don't have diabetes because I didn't receive it. That's right. That's right. You understand? Amen. But what would have happened had my mind been way over here, away from my spirit? Had I not renewed my mind with the word? Had I not known what to say when I'm accosted in that situation? I could have received it. And once you receive something, it becomes yours. Right. And you know how you make it yours? How you make a fault yours? By saying it. By saying it. Yeah. Matthew 6, 31, Jesus said, take no fault saying You take a fault by saying The devil put the fault there that you got diabetes and then you would take it by saying, man, I got diabetes. It'll run all in my family. Yeah. And I've had people say, say, say that to me, but it stopped running with me. Yeah, they don't. They lose all force, all power, all feeding with me. Yeah, you understand because I believe what the word says. That's right. You understand, and and this yeah. works in every area, even in our relationships, even in our marriages. Yeah. We have to we have to believe what the word says will happen if we do things a certain way. Right. If we submit. If their wives submit to their husband like the word say, and the husband submit to their wives like the word say, you're gonna have a beautiful marriage. But when you when you constantly uh, coming against one another, headbutting one another, you know what Jesus says? He says, a house divided won't stand. It's gonna fall. Yeah. And when you coming against one another, you divide. When the when the, when the husband tried to take the position of the wife and and be the stay at home mom and um, <laughs> dad stay at home dad and the, and the wife tried to take the leadership and, and it's just all out of whack. Oh, now don't get me wrong, there are circumstances where the husband may lose his job. We talked about that, but I'm just talking about leadership. I'm talking about where the wife is trying to be the head because she don't want to submit. I make more money than he do. How he going how to go submit to him? I'm smarter than him. I got more education than him. That don't mean a thing. When you surrender to God's word, you're going to be successful. Amen? Are you all right with that? Amen. All right. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for revealing your word to us. Thank you for revealing to us how we're to conduct our relationship. And Lord, it is our desire to have a fulfilled godly marriage. It's our desire to have fulfilled godly relationships. It's our desire, Father, to live according to your word. And we thank you that you are directing us through your word and empowering us through your spirit. And we give you praise and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Alright, Willie, you brought your... Yeah. Okay.